So you walk into your uh, local supermarket and guess what's on sale? Steak's on sale, but it's raining. It's a bad day. You can't use the grill. So what are you gonna do? We got a stove, we've got a frying pan or a grill pan. Let's make some steak. Next on Sweet Willie's Kitchen. Okay, so I was over at my local uh, supermarket and they had a real nice sale on, uh, on some uh, porterhouse steaks. Uh, nothing too thick, you know, like an inch, inch thick and uh, I felt like uh, making some steak tonight. But here in the Northeast today, it's raining, it's messy out, and it's actually kind of cold. So the grill would be eh, so-and-so. So I want to share with you a little tip of what we do when uh, it's uh, during the winter months when we don't use the, uh, the grill. Uh, typically what I do is we, uh, we use the oven, all right? And we don't use the broiler, but we use the heat. Uh, this is something that I picked up uh, years ago with Elton Brown by using a cast iron skillet and uh, cooking a steak with a cast iron skillet. Now, I don't know how many of you have a cast iron skillet, but I do, and it was my grandmother's. To get everything started, we'll take our steaks out of the fridge, let them get up to temperature, and then we set our oven to as high as we can. All right, not the broiler, but the oven. And while we do that, I'm going to take the pan. Now, it's got to be an oven-safe pan, guys, all right? All right, so you've got, uh, whether you have a, you know, a good old-fashioned stainless steel pan, like, I don't know, like something like this, or one of these guys here, one of those uh, anodized deals, or even cast iron, that's good. So what we would do is we would take that and we would stick that in the oven as well. We want to get that hot so when it's time to get things cooking, everything will be up in the temperature. So while this is happening, we're going to give you a little, little taste of what, what we're going to do. We're going to take these, take the pan, we're going to stick it in the oven at 550, five, 550 degrees. Get that up to temperature. So when that happens, all right, these should be nice and uh, relatively to room temperature. When that happens, we're gonna put a little canola oil on it, all right? Canola oil has a higher smoke point than olive oil. So we can get that crust going when it hits that pan. And then first, so we're gonna oil these up and then we're gonna use whatever seasoning you like. If you like a, uh, a steak seasoning that uh, you know, some of the manufacturers may go ahead. Uh, I know Mommy and Gracie like the old-fashioned Lowry seasoned salt. Uh, Daddy likes Sweet Willie, likes good old-fashioned salt and pepper on his, so that's what he'll put on his. So we would season those up first, and then when everything gets to temperature, then what we will wind up doing, okay, we would sear it on one side for a minute, and then we're going to flip it over for another minute. Then we're going to flip it over, stick it in that hot oven for three minutes, flip it over, and then another three minutes. Then we'll take it out and take it off the heat, and then we'll put it on the board and let it rest. So that'll give us a nice medium rare to medium steak, depending on the thickness. And that's how we're going to do it. So. Uh, when we get back, we'll be up to temperature, uh, and we'll show you how we season everything, and then we will re be right back, okay? Okay, so we're back, and we've got, a, we've got an oven that's up to temperature now. So what we're gonna do is we'll get the steaks ready to put these on this thing. So we'll take a little of the canola oil and rub that, rub that on the steaks here, okay? Rub those up. These oiled up, so when the heat hits them, they're going to put a nice crust on it, and we use that crust to keep keep all the juices inside. All right, so so we're all oiled up. All right, and for uh, Bobby and Gracie, we're going to use a little of the seasoned salt. They like that. Okay, 
me. I'm a salt and pepper kind of guy. So let's a salt there on one side, a salt, pepper. We'll do salt and pepper on one side and pepper and salt on the other side. How's that for, ah, that's living on the edge, guys. There we go. All right. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take, the, take this out of the oven. And I hope we can do this before the uh, fire alarms go off. We're going to put the steaks on for one minute on each side. Oh, did I say that we got to put the flame on high? Alright, so we're going to wait 60 seconds and then we're going to flip them over. Wait another 60 seconds, then we'll put them in the oven. So this is how a lot of the great steakhouses do it. Okay, they, they, they put everything on the grill. To get that char and then they finish everything up in what they used to call a salamander it's a real high heat type of oven we don't have that here in the kitchen but we'll do the best we can all right a minute has passed you can see what we've done is we've gotten the sear going on one side we got them going timer for a minute again all right, so everything is searing. That's the idea. That's why we do this. So guys, I hope everybody has had a good summer so far, and I hope uh, some of the uh, things that we've done so far on Sweet Willie's Kitchen have worked out well for you. Uh, I'd love to know what your favorite recipes are, what your favorite shows are that we've done so far. Please, so please comment. I'd love to hear what you guys have done. And I know a lot of people have been, been inspired to do a number of things. And uh, still, please, don't forget to comment on what you'd like to see on the kitchen. It gives me more ideas. And we're at four, three, two, one. All right. So what we'll do is we're going to flip these over. Let's see. Flip them over. Stick them in the oven. We're going to wait for three minutes. So three minutes have passed. Let's see what these things look like. Okay, they're cooking nicely. So we'll flip them over. Stick them in that hot. We'll stick them in that hot oven for another three minutes. Okay. Okay, it's time. The timer has gone off. We've cleaned off our cutting board and it is time to take these bad boys out of the oven. Take them out of the oven. Let's see how the everything's all nice and cooked up nicely. We got the grill marks. Again, we here like our meat rare. So that's hence the reason why we go the minute on a side in three minutes. If we wanted to go medium rare, I would recommend you go, say, four minutes a side. And if you want to go medium to medium well, you go five minutes a side. Okay, so for rare, we go for three. So for medium, we go for four. And for well, we go for five. Again, if we're going to be using a nice piece of meat, I don't understand why somebody would want their meat well done like that. Uh, it kind of loses the, uh, the purpose. So, like we did in the grilling the perfect steak video, what do we do? We let the meat rest for about five minutes. That way, when we cut into the steak, juices don't run all over the place. So we'll see you in five minutes and we'll uh, have everything all put together and you can see how this turns out.
Okay. okay, we're back. The meat has rested for about five minutes, so it's time to take this off the bone. Okay, so we've got the porterhouse, which gives you the strip steak and the fillet portion. So there's two sections here. So we're going to give a, a piece here. Okay, as you can see, the color. Okay, it's nice and pink here, nice and juicy, nice and pink. Again, this was a relatively thin steak. It was less than an inch thick, so that three minutes, uh, we got us to uh, medium rare. So we're just going to take this down. We're going to slice this up. Get some nice pieces here, like so. And we're going to take that. put this on the plate. Now what we do is we're going to serve this with a little baked potato, drizzled with some olive oil and some uh, nice salt and some steamed broccoli and cheddar cheese. So that's how we're going to cook a steak when the grill can't work or it's too cold to even cook. So if we want to cook inside, you could still have a good steak. So for those of you who have subscribed, I thank you. For those of you who haven't, please do. And those of you who've been watching, I thank you very much. So for now, I'm Sweet Willie. Welcome to my kitchen, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.